So, you know, as a gardener, we always think of plants being the major thing that makes a garden a garden, but you have to remember there's a lot of other things that go into gardening. I'm here with Bob Dinman at Red Pick Tools out in Boring, and we're going to be talking about some of the major things that go on with a garden, which are the tools that you use. Bob here makes tools, and I'll tell you, you've got quite a selection here. Oh, thank you. And what I want to discuss with you is some of the more unique ones that we've found here today, like <laughs> this little creature right here. <laughs> to say the least, uh, that is a mangle cutter. And that was used many years ago to chop up uh, mangles with, and beets and turnips uh, into small pieces for uh, feeding to when you're feeding your pigs or other animals. Today, uh, when you can find them, they're used for chopping up compost. And uh, mostly with small green compost. Uh -huh. It doesn't substitute for a chipper shredder, but if you've got just a little bit of compost, that's a way cheaper than a cheaper than a, chipper yeah, shredder. Yeah, then that would be, and a lot less noisy. So even for, uh, even for homes inside you know, neighborhoods in, in the right. city, if you have a composter, that would work well. Now, the thing you have your hand on, I've seen things similar to this, but that one doesn't look like it's going to be breaking anytime this soon. This one is pretty <laughs> stout. This is a uh, weed fork, and it's designed to push down in the ground Take it like this, you step on it, you hold it, it's designed so that the handle goes forward when the blade is dead vertical. You drop, you push it into the ground, then you pull back and pry out big dandelions, uh, industrial strength dandelions. Which we have in the Northwest. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so any taproot weed, that mm -hmm. would work very well on. Queen Anne's lace, thistle, anything that's a pretty big weed, sure. this will make short work out of well, it. Well, and you know, Bob, we were talking earlier that um, I didn't know what this was, although it seems like something my grandpa used to chase me with when I was a kid. <laughs> but this is something that I think is very useful yeah. for a lot of people. That's, that's my own uh, design. This is a blackberry hoe, and it's designed specifically for taking out blackberries. It'll work for other things. And the way you use this, if you have little blackberry plants that are just coming up from seeds, mm -hmm. all you have to do is take this tool and whack it into the ground and then pull this way, mm -hmm. and you pull the whole plant out. If you have a plant that's established and has a root run, you take this and imagine that line being the roots, you excavate along and, uh, until you find where it goes down and throws sure. a tap root. Then you take this claw, hook it under that, and just pry Pop it, it right up out of the ground. So, so. You, you know, if you, if you really are averted to using chemicals to kill things like that, this is the way to go. Yep. Well, now this thing here almost looks like a Halloween bat to me. I don't know where I got that from, but there you go. So tell me about this. This is a ridger, and it's the ancestor of the little kind of uh, a heart-shaped warren hoe, which mm -hmm. is familiar around vegetable gardens. And this is basically a plow on the end of a pole. And the way you use this, you, it's used to pull furrows. Sure. Uh, and you pull furrows in a vegetable garden. And they're still used a lot in Europe. Uh, and then if you plant in the furrow bottom, you can push away from you like this, and it'll fold the dirt back down over whatever, like potatoes that you put in the bottom of the furrow. Well, and you know, a lot of these tools, so many people do vegetable gardens even in the city. A lot of these tools are completely viable in, in, in the city or the rural oh, yeah, areas. Yeah. Uh, one more that I want to cover real quick. This is just freakish. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that tool was made many years ago uh, by a local blacksmith here. And uh, I haven't been able to find out much about him, but this was sold a lot at Portland Nursery. And it was, uh, it's a combination cultivator. Uh, you cultivate like this, and then you lay it on its side. It's sharpened all along both edges, so it's good for either right-handed or left-handed people, and you uh, slice weeds with it. And it's a very effective tool. I had uh, a guy come in and have me make him seven of them. You could agree. He well, liked it well enough. You know, I'll tell you what. If you ever want quality tools, and Bob makes an awfully lot of them, and every one of them is great quality, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll kick you over to their website. Bob, always a pleasure to see you. We'll My chat pleasure. with you again soon sometime. Thanks so much.